Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to go over your weekly warm up from last week. You read about ants. And so we're going to go through and look at our questions based off of our story. So number one said, according to the text, what are pupa? So first of all, I'm going to notice that it says according to the text, not what I think. What does the text say? And I need to look for that vocabulary word. And so if I look up here into the text, I see right here that they have underlined that vocabulary word. And I'm going to read that sentence. They steal the pupa, comma, the cases that hold the ant's eggs. If after a word they give you a comma, that generally tells you the definition is coming right after. It's a context clue. So the pupa would be the cases that hold the ant eggs. So if I look down here at my choices, I actually see my answer right away that matches that here is number one's answer. So vocabulary words often have context clues or definitions around them to help you know their meaning. Number two, using the context above, what is another word, an, excuse me, another word for intruders would be? So again, I need to use the context of the story and I need to look for the word intruders. And I found that word intruders right here in the first paragraph. So as I read this, it says, several types of ants have a sting to protect their nest when intruders turn up. If I look in this, I'm noticing that they're protecting. So it means usually that there's something not that it's not wanted. And I'm going to even go back another sentence and it says, enemies will not be able to enter their camp without being discovered. And I see right here a synonym or a word that means similar because this whole paragraph was talking about that. So protect means I don't want them there. Enemies, and so if I look, unwanted friends, nope, that wasn't there. Unwanted vacationers, well, ants don't vacation. Unwanted enemies, makes sense. Unwanted slaves, nope, intruders would be unwanted enemies. Let's look at number three. This passage is about, oh, in my head, I'm thinking main idea. What is it all about? So what was it that I was reading about in this entire pair or passage? So first one was about incredible creatures, talking about enemies. Then we read about the queen ant and then the worker ants, the slave maker ants. Um, about the ants in their jaws, and then finally, just kind of a review of everything we've read. So, did it talk about ants going to war? No, not really. Did it talk about unusual qualities of the ants? Sort of. Does it talk about ants and their hobbies? Well, it does tell me what each one does, so maybe... How ants take out the trash. Okay, that's the obvious no. So now I have to think about which one makes more sense. What did they talk about with these ants? Hmm. Well, I did talk about each of the ants. Hobbies refers to things that they do for fun. So that's not really the case. It would be more about their unusual qualities, how they each have different jobs and what their body is doing to help make that um, colony work. All right, let's look at number four. It says, which words could be used instead of spick and span in the text above? So words, spick and span, text above. Those are what I'm going to go for. Here is spick and span. I see it underlined, and I'm going to read the words around it. So I see it says, they also search for food. These worker ants protect their nests from enemies. They also keep the nest spick and span. They take out the trash from the nest and place it in one area. So if I'm taking out the trash, it means I'm probably making sure it's neat and clean or organized. Sluggish and lazy? Nope, that's not what it's saying. They don't keep the nest sluggish and luggy, lug, excuse me, lazy. Dirty and piggish. Well, if I take the trash out, it's probably not dirty and piggish. Disgusting and awful is kind of similar to dirty and piggish, so that's not the answer. Clean and neat? 
Yes, that is what spick and span means. All right, so check your answers, see what you think and how you did, correct as needed. And this week you are working on the story about crows.